Hey everyone, I'm Tech Steve, and on today's video, I'm going to show you a recent update that happened to most Roku devices. So previously, if you had a Samsung television or LG television, you got to use the benefits of sharing your screen from an Apple device with a feature called Apple AirPlay 2. Now, with this new update, now Roku TV sets can have it. And additional to that, they can support Apple HomeKit. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set it all up and where to check to see if your TV set or Roku device has received that recent update. So sit back, relax, and let's get started. So here we have the main screen on the Roku. So what we need to do is go down to settings and we're just going to check the software to make sure that it's on the latest version. Now, first you want to look for systems and then about. And once you press on that, you want to make sure you, that you have 9.4 build and that's going to have the new AirPlay feature. Once we got that, go ahead and hit back again. And then under settings, we want to scroll down here until you, you get to where it says Apple AirPlay and HomeKit. Now you're going to go and press on that and it will open up the software. So there's two different setups here. You have Apple AirPlay and this is going to allow you to cast your phone screens from an Apple device over to the TV set. And under HomeKit, it's going to allow you to turn the TV set off. But first, let me show you Apple AirPlay. Now, there's a couple settings in here. You can leave it on, off. You also can do subtitles and captions off of different things you stream. And of course, you have About AirPlay. So let me get my iPhone and show you guys how it works. So let's go and set up the HomeKit. So you can see the applications right here. But just in case, you can go over to the iOS store and go ahead and download it. Just look for Apple HomeKit. Now we got it open up. Let's go over to the TV and press on Setup. Now you can see a barcode appears on the screen. Let's go ahead to plus at the top, add accessory. And now what we want to do is just move the phone close to the TV set and you'll get this little pop-up right here. Once you get that, go ahead and press on add to home. And you can see on the TV set that is now showing that the Roku TV set is set up as an Apple HomeKit device. Now from the phone, you want to go down here and look where you want to locate it let's just keep it studio hit continue there's the name of the tv set or if you want you can rename it like that hit continue now you can see on my screen there's an apple home kit device i can press on it and now you can see the tv set turned off i press it again now the tv set's on now just one disclaimer once the tv set goes to sleep for probably about 30 minutes or so Usually that feature gets disabled because the TV set Wi-Fi usually disconnects automatically. So kind of pain. Now I will tell you the commands are very limited. Let's go ahead and click on application. And I'll show you. So let's say you want to go to input. You have to manually do it here. So that part works, but you need to hook up antenna. Let's say you want to turn it off and on. You can press the power button there and press it again. So the benefits would be if you hit add scene, you can say, okay, leave in home and you can give it like a list here. So if you have GPS enabled, you can say, when I leave home, turn off the Roku TV set, or you can say hit plus add a scene. When I say good night, then it turns off the Roku TV or turn it on. So that's where you can set up these different scenes. You can also add other things to that. So if you had lights, and uh, different features, you can then add those out just kind of like a routine you would do on an Amazon or a Google unit. Now as far as Siri, you can go in here and say, turn off Roku TV. Okay, the TCL Roku TV is off. And again with that disclaimer, you can turn TV set back on, but eventually it will disconnect because of the Wi-Fi disconnects. Turn on TV. Okay, the TCL Roku TV is on. So that'd be the benefit right there. So another thing you can do, you can drop down this screen, hit screen mirroring, and then press on TCL Roku TV. Sometimes you might have to try it twice. All right, let me turn off the screen recording. That might be the problem. Yep, that's the problem. So now if you look at the TV set, and let's say if I want to open up application, let's say, for example, I want to look at this racing game. I can open it up. Now I can see my screen right here with the Apple AirPlay. Anything I press here, it's gonna show up on this screen right here. There you go. Now let's go and end that. 
try some other things. So if I go up here and I'll pull up YouTube, you can see right there, it's gonna pull up right there on the screen. If we go down, pull up Excel sheet, see, same thing right there. Now some of these will turn with the screen, as you can see there, but this gives you a way that you can use this bigger screen to your advantage whenever you're doing some different uh, tests here or you wanna show a lot of people. But let's look at the latency test. So there's a little bit of latency test. Latency off just a little bit, but not too bad. So now let's take a look at it with the Apple computer. To set up Apple AirPlay on a computer is very easy. All you need to do is go over to this uh, Apple logo in the corner and then press on system preferences. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna go down here where it says AirPlay displays. And if you click on that, you can see there's a TCL Roku right there, but it will show a list of any TV sets that are compatible. You wanna go ahead and press on that. And then you'll get a code that pops up on a TV screen. Go ahead and enter that code. Once that's entered, go ahead and press OK. It's gonna blink. And now you have Apple AirPlay on the TV set. Now, another thing you can do is down here where it shows mirroring options. If you press on that, you're gonna get this little double box right here at the top of the screen. And with that, you can just easily go to everything and you can also do the preference of displays like what we get here. The next thing I would do is click on arrangements and make sure that mirror mode's not checked. That way you can use it as a second display. But if you're okay getting the same screen on both TVs and the computer, you can just go ahead and mirror display. You can see it right there. And then when I uncheck it, it makes the TV a second monitor. Now, if you press this little box right here, you can see there's a red box that appears. That's where I can arrange the monitor. And if I press the other box, you can see there's a red box that pops on the TV. That's where I can arrange that. And then, of course, you can go here and change the colors, night shift, and do a few other things. Now, to play a little clip, I can click on that, and it pops up here. But what I can do is drag it over to the other TV screen. There it is right there. Now, what say you... As you move the mouse around, there's gonna be a delay in the movement of it, so the latency is not that good on it. So don't expect it to run the best, but you can do some basic playing features like hit play, and there you go like that. But uh, that's pretty much how you do it. And when you're done, you can go up here to Finder. Again, go back to System Preferences. Go back down to Display. And you want to go and toggle this back to off right there. And that's how you do it. So after watching this video, you should have a better understanding how to get the software and everything up and running on your Roku device. So what I recommend is go check for updates and see if you have that new version so you can start using this right away. Now there's a few things you need to be aware of. First of all, if you have a router that has 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz, make sure you're on the same frequency for the AirPlay feature to work. Also, I haven't checked 4K, so if you pull up a YouTube video that's 4K on your iPhone, it may or may not stream 4K to the television set, but more likely not because there is a little bit of delay using uh, Wi-Fi. But if you like this video, go and give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Peace!